Okay, having uh, covered the types or categories of law um, in terms of the division between uh, criminal, civil, or tort, and regulatory law, and then having uh, uh, discussed the, the major uh, types of different legal systems, I really am forced to revisit the whole ball of wax um, because the division between the types or categories in, in terms of criminal, civil, and regulatory law is most clear and specific and distinct in terms of common law legal systems. And as I say, you know, that, that is the most, not the most uh, common type of legal system. Therefore, um, the, uh, you, you may have to look at a specific legal system. Now, of course, you're not lawyers. You're not planning to be lawyers, you know, fine. Uh, but just be aware um, that you may have to take advice on, uh, you know, is does this distinction hold in the uh, legal system that uh, we may have to deal with because that is where the, um, the perpetrator uh, resides uh, or is acting from. Um, and, and for example, we have, um, uh, well, you know, uh, a saying something against somebody, um, uh, well, saying something is slander and, and writing something is libel, uh, you know, same, same thing, you know, making some kind of comment, um, that, uh, speaks ill of someone else and, and may, not just hurt their feelings, but uh, may hurt their job prospects, their uh, quality of life, whatever. That is a tort. That is the civil law. Uh, there is an injury there. And you, uh, you know, unless uh, it really gets out of hand and is uh, gross uh, slander or libel and, and therefore... Uh, becomes a criminal matter. It's you, you can't throw somebody in jail for that, uh, but you can get money. However, you know, th and that's talking about something. Uh, now, um, talking against the government. Uh, well, that's covered under freedom of speech under most common law legal systems, but it's. Uh, <sighs> Talking, talking is one thing. Taking action is another. Taking action, that's treason. But um, in some of the autocratic uh, states, such as Russia, a number of others similar and particularly associated with Russia right now, um, are passing laws now that say you can't say anything against the state. You can't... Um, uh, report anything that reflects negatively on the state, even if it's true. You know, truth is generally a defense against slander or libel, but uh, in these systems, um, they've passed laws that say, uh, no, if you say anything bad about us, um, that's criminal. We can throw you in jail. So, um, you know, there's already a breakdown um, in that distinction between uh, uh, criminal and, and civil law and, and you know, possibly uh, regulatory as well. So um, do be aware that you may have to look at a specific legal system and see whether that distinction between the types of categories of law holds. Um, but to uh, address some additional features, and again, this is particularly applicable to the uh, common law legal system. Um, the, in terms of criminal law, you have to prove something beyond a reasonable doubt. 
Um, so you've, you've got to prove it. You've got to, uh, you know, there has to be evidence uh, beyond a reasonable doubt, and reasonable doubt tends to get argued over, but, um, you know, the, the reasonable person would, uh, you know, doubt this or not doubt this. Uh, and that's, that's the standard of proof in a criminal trial. Um, but a civil trial, uh, tort law, um, injury means that uh, you have to prove it on the balance of the probabilities. And so we have situations like O.J. Simpson's trial, where he was originally charged for murder, that is a criminal charge, and therefore it has to be proved beyond a reasonable doubt, and he had very good lawyers, and uh, they managed to murky, you know, muddy the waters enough that uh, uh, people said, well, you know, we can't say this is beyond a reasonable doubt, that there is a reasonable doubt that he actually committed murder. Um, but then he was, uh, again, sued for um, wrongful death. And wrongful death is not a crime. That is a tort. That is, you have caused somebody's death and therefore, you know, the family can sue you for injury. And, and in that case, that's a civil case. And it's on the balance of the probabilities. And the jury found that, you know, that he probably did kill them. And so, you know, the standard of, of proof is different uh, because of the different category of law. Um, and then, of course, he tried to get out of it by hiding his finances, and which led to him uh, trying to sell uh, sports memorabilia, uh, which ended up with him uh, pulling a gun on somebody in a hotel room and therefore uh, being charged again criminally for a different criminal act. And so he went to jail uh, in, you know the end. So a lot of people would say that, you know, sort of the system did actually work, but, um, okay. Uh, like I say, civil law, you can't throw people in jail in the common law legal system. Um, you get an award of damages, uh, and again, it's on the balance of the probabilities. Um, regulatory or administrative law, um, again, uh, it, it may be defined differently in different legal systems. A, a different uh, uh, civil law, probably legal system, uh, may have, uh, well, may create laws that create different standards, different uh, categories of law, define the categories of law differently, um, define the uh, penalties four different categories of law differently. So, um, okay, so I guess we've, you know, hopefully uh, covered that, and hopefully I have not muddied the waters and, and created a murky situation uh, in terms of, of clarity. Uh, again, um, there's, you know, it, this is this is law. Go and get legal advice. This is not legal advice. I am not a lawyer. I do not even play one on TV. I, I teach an awful lot of these legal principles because of this particular domain here. And I have had to look at um, the different types of legal systems internationally. But uh, no, I am not a lawyer. This is not legal advice. If it was legal advice, you would have paid me an awful lot more for this seminar.